I'm in Mukosarin National Park, an absolute paradise. So join me today as I take a snorkeling trip to the island of Kosarin and we explore the underwater world as well as the beautiful, beautiful bays of this national park. Let's go. It's a little smaller than I expected. I expected some nice decks to relax on, but uh, it's going to be, it's not full luckily, it's going to be a little cramped. 105 minutes, so one hour, 50 minutes to the national park and the first stop. Anyway, I'll take a little bit of footage of the way there. I'll probably pick up with you guys when we actually get to Surin Island. Okay, we have made it to Surin Islands. First stop is called Amonkan Village. And I need to get off the boat first. But on the way here, the water, oh my God, I have never seen water so blue in all of my life. Here we go, survived. Oh, and lost the flip flop. Cap. I have never seen water so blue in all of my life. Amazing, anyway. This little village is very special. These people are not Thai. They actually came from Indonesia about two to 300 years ago. And they set up here, it's a small local village. Well, I think these are the only people who live on the islands to be fair. And their houses look amazing. Made from, well, their huts, made from materials that you find around the beach or around the area. And we're gonna have a little look around, I'll show you. You can buy souvenirs here, have a look around at the way they live. Obviously, this is now their main source of income, uh, the tourists coming here. But what an amazing setting they're living. They live in this little bay. And as we were coming in, the sea changed, as I said, from dark blue to amazing turquoise blue. And you can see the coral in the bottom. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but this bay is flanked by, well, it's in a bowl, essentially, with the mountains wrapping around it, covered in thick layer of trees. And already, you can see the kids selling their gifts. So we'll have a look around. Maybe we'll buy a souvenir afterwards. But first, well, I want to see the village and I'll show you guys the village too. It's all wooden carvings, jewelry, bracelets. They've got the kids in the village. Made from the shells on the beach. Turtles. We're lucky we might see one today. But look at this. This is the village. You can see thatched, that thatched housing. Loud long tail boat going. But what a setting. What a setting. To, well, what a place to live. Chickens. <laughs> Chickens running about. Oh, it's very beautiful. So why? So why? Oh, 
actually. The carvings are also very beautiful, actually. Hello, yeah. the 100 baht. 100 baht? Yeah. Okay, cab. First, I have a look. Cab. <laughs> so, glasses on because it is hot today. The little um, carvings were 100 baht, which you're giving money to the community. I think it's not about. Sometimes it's not about what you're buying or the value of it, you're giving money to the community and I don't mind doing that, so I will buy a souvenir. But, we spoke about the tsunami in the last video, 2004 tsunami. As you can see, this village is on the beach and was totally destroyed. But, unlike the people in Kaulak, the, the community here recognized that something was wrong. They noticed a change in the sea and I, whether they'd seen it before or it had been passed down, knowledge had been passed down through generations, they went up into the hills above the village and obviously when the tsunami hit no one died, everyone survived. It just shows you having that knowledge, having that connection with the sea, something that we've lost I guess. Our connection with nature, we've spoken about that before on the channel. We've lost our connection with nature as a society, but these guys still have it. And their connection with tourism too, but have to make a living somehow, right? The world has changed since they arrived here. I think what I need more than anything is some of this sun cream. <laughs> but they wear sweaty calves. More bracelets and if we're lucky well I don't think today we're gonna see that but <laughs> I wish it's my dream to see a whale shark bags as well Sweaty cab. To Manta. Manta. I come back. These are color cap. Loyman cap. Loy. Loy. One hundred. Ah, one hundred. Loy Ram. Okay. Nung Ram. Ah, she said it the opposite way around. I know it's Nung Roy. She said look. Nung Roy Nung. Okay. Maybe we get one of these. I love the double color. I come back and then I buy. Cab. And I need some of this. <laughs> Sorry, cab. As ever. Resident cat. No dogs to chase me, though. These are also nice. I see all of them, and I like all of them. What's the problem? Oh. Sweaty cab. Sweaty cab. Oh, how cute. Can you imagine in living in one of these though? I'm sure they have a fan maybe, but no aircon. I obviously I know that these guys need to make a living. And it's quite cute having all the kids out. But it's probably done for a reason because I feel guilty when I'm walking past and obviously I can't buy all of them. I can't buy from every stall and from every family. But I feel guilty walking past the kids. So, good marketing from their perspective. Actually here, you can see how it's made. They have slats underneath and then they weave the leaves throughout to create the, the layering. And here you can see it on the roof, but clearly this one is under repair. Sweaty cab. And still it's raised up, so if the tide comes up, well also it gets you off the ground anyway away from any insects or anything that's on the ground. But also, if the tide comes up, it doesn't matter. And then you have airflow underneath. It's healthier that way too. Animals can live underneath. Can store things underneath like boats. Yeah, pretty cool. Might be nice for a one night stay. I can't say I would like to live in one of those, if I'm honest. Maybe I'm not all for like luxury comforts, but some comforts are quite nice. <laughs> but it's, I love seeing how other people live, you know? 
Shorty car. Do you guys want to see a bit of YouTube versus reality? Um, a sad reality of what it's like on some of these beaches all around the world. You have, well, let me show you. Beautiful Moncan village, living how they've lived for hundreds of years, flanked by beautiful jungle, coconut trees, palm trees, fishing boat, turquoise sea, which you just want to jump in. And then when we look down, plastic everywhere. We all know it's a massive issue. And when we think of these perfect beaches, we don't think of this, but it's like everything you can think of, all different sizes. It's, uh, it's sad, it's a sad reality of pretty much everywhere now, how much we've polluted the sea. Anyway, back to the YouTube. Right, let's go find the person we promised we would buy from. She was nice and had a nice smile. And that is important. Okay, cab. Which one do we like? Which one would you choose? One of these mantas, I think. Or these horseshoe crabs are quite cool. Which one of them has eyes? That whale shark. Tortuga, turtle, shells, little, little key rings. I think these are cool. Which would you choose? Quite like this one. With a little bit of imperfection. A bit like me, really. But this one is also quite cool. Black on the top, white on the bottom. Okay, cat. Sunroi. I'm so indecisive, I chose, then I changed, and then I chose, and now I'm thinking. I've paid. <laughs> I think we're gonna go for the original, the imperfect one. Like I said, a bit like me, and beautiful in its own way. Okay, Monken Village complete. It was interesting to see, but I'm not the biggest fan of things like this. Sometimes it feels like a bit of a zoo. Got my mask and snorkel ready, which means the next stop is snorkeling. I'll see you guys in the water. Good luck. <laughs> I hope I don't need luck. In we go. Oh, it's warm. First time in the sea in Thailand on this trip. Right, let me get sorted with the mask. Let's see what we can find. snorkeling trip number one done. I must say it was, it was okay. 
I want a huge amount of fish, I think. The problem is, once you have done scuba diving, things are quite hard to compare to that because you can get scuba diving dives which are just incredible, full of fish, like clouds of fish basically. And there were fish, there were some nice anemones, there were some starfish, some also a clownfish, I didn't see the clownfish, but lots of little fish swimming around and yeah, it was nice. The water was super clear, very, very clear, good visibility, and in a, such a beautiful setting as well. Anyway, we've come a few minutes from snorkel trip number one for maybe what will be my favourite part of the day, and that's lunch, as you guys know. And buffet lunch, so let's go take a look and see what it's like. Cop kum kap. I've already, oh yeah, the plate. And I forgot my plate. How can you have lunch without the plate? Just thinking about you guys. Plate in hand. Let's see what we have. Rice. Crispy fried chicken. Stir fried vegetables. Need some of that. What is this? Ah, shrimp. Shrimp and vegetables with crab sticks, it looks like. Interesting. And then, guy. It's like chicken stew. And of course, fresh fruit. Looks alright. Can't complain. And I. I'm absolutely starving, which is probably not good before going for a second snorkeling trip. There's still one more snorkeling trip, but let's fill up. <laughs> nice stodgy rice. Actually look okay. It's hard to go wrong with crispy chicken. There is one way to make sure the food tastes better. The condiment section. Someone has taken most of the chilies. So it's probably just the flavour. Oh, with lime in there as well. I think that'll be good. I actually think I've overdone it on the plate, <laughs> to be honest, before going swimming again, but it is what it is. Let's go try it. And this isn't a food video, so you won't get much of a critique. I'll just tell you if it's tasty or not. Then I'll give you a walk around the beach when I finish. All right, actually have company. So, <laughs> yeah, swaddy cup. Good so, morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, let me try it, tell you if it's good, and then I'll be social. It looks all right, is it all right? It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> It's crispy. I will add your comments from the sideline. Mm. <laughs> Not the best Thai food you're ever going to eat, but when you're hungry, on the tour, it will do. Anyway, catch you guys when we go for a walk around the beach when I finish this. It's lunch finished, and actually I undersold it because I tried the crispy one first because it looked so tempting, and that was a bit average. But actually the stir-fried veg and the boiled chicken was actually quite nice, especially with that Nam Prit Bla, or Nam Bla Prit. The guy next to me told me I was saying it wrong. But it was actually all right, and uh, yeah, cannot complain at all. It's all included in the tour, actually. And we are at the main part of the National Park, and I believe this is where you can actually stay. Don't know how much it costs, I'll check, and I can leave a link in the description. But this is where you can stay. If you wanted to stay the night, you can do this. And as you can see, it is pretty busy. There are, it's not just our tour that's here. There are a few tours that's here. It is incredibly beautiful, but there are lots of people. So if you want this place to yourself, you can stay overnight. And this would be where you'd stay. Little huts. And, well, I'll let the views speak for themselves. Actually, there's other huts here. Incredible. <laughs> kind of looks like paradise, doesn't it, as I'm walking through here. The turquoise blue through these trees. Wow. But I will just say, I am actually enjoying this tour a lot. I don't normally do tours like this. Normally I kind of do things on my own, right, as you guys have seen. And if I'm going in the water, as I said, I prefer to scuba dive because, well, there was a reason I learned to scuba dive and for me it's incredible. It's one of the most amazing uh, feelings you can have but to make a video and I just wanted to share with you guys what it's like doing a snorkeling trip and it's not well this trip is not just about snorkeling you obviously you come and see the national park you have lunch you see these beautiful beautiful beaches and this one actually I'm looking at it now is absolutely incredible wow anyway 
So it's not just about the snorkeling, and it's also about the people that you meet as well. So I am very much enjoying this one, but tomorrow is actually Christmas Day, so I've treated myself to two dives at the best dive site in Thailand, arguably one of the best in Asia. So that's for me, I'm not going to film that. But I'm bringing you guys with me today on Christmas Eve. And are you ready? Are you ready for this? Check this out. That is insane. I thought I've seen some nice beaches in my life, and I have, but can you believe this? So if you stayed here, this would be yours, all to yourself. That's ridiculous. Isn't this like postcard Thailand? Unbelievable. And the water is gorgeous. It's like a hot bath. Look at that. And the clarity. Everyone in the water having fun, throwing frisbees around. Stunning jungle covered mountains. Same with over here. These bays really are absolutely breathtaking i think this in itself seeing this is worth the trip to surin island in itself plus you get the snorkeling and the food and the company as i said i think it's worth it anyway anyway i'm going to continue to be a bit social it's a bit hard to be social when i have the camera that's the problem and uh, i'll see you guys at the next snorkel site and fingers crossed there's a few more fish say that was better than I expected. I had low expectations of snorkeling trip, <laughs> if I'm honest, being a scuba snob and uh, snorkeling stop one was a bit not much. Nice location, not much to see. But two and three, two especially, was really good. Saw some really cool things and some really nice coral. And then number three was also really good. And overall saw some very interesting things. Lots of clownfish, little baby clownfish as well, which was which was really nice. Or a knife fish, some nice coral, a really nice brain coral. Lunch was fairly decent. That beach was incredible. And I'm just gonna pause because this is loud. Hold on. Sorry, I'm back. That beach was incredible. So so beautiful. And you get three meals, breakfast, lunch, and there's snacks or a little meal now, light meal. They call it dinner, but I think it's just a light meal. So, overall, 
really happy. Great day. Staff are really friendly. Definitely recommend Love Andaman. And take a trip to the Surin Islands if you're in Kaulak. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me on that snorkeling trip. I'll catch you guys in the next video.